Wow, I am loving this. It's so different to anything I've done before, but it's definitely something you should try if you want to get faster. Fartlek. Not only is it a great word, it could be the secret to making you faster. Today I'm going to show you a fartlek session perfect for race day prep, or perhaps you just want your training to get a little bit faster. Well, here's how. We've teamed up with Training Peaks to bring you incredible workouts to help transform your running, and today is no different. So if you want most of the hard work done for you, then head to the link in the description where you can download the training plan that this workout is from. Plus, you can even download the workout onto your watch. Magic. Right, let's get started. So I'm just starting off by doing a 12 minute warm up jog followed by some drills and strides. This workout plays with speed so it's important to make sure that you're properly warmed up before getting into it. So after the warm up the workout goes a little bit like this. You start off by building for three minutes using perceived effort. So you start off at moderate pace, then you go to moderate hard, and then you do hard pace to finish off. And that's for one minute each of the three minutes. And then that's followed by two minutes jogging recovery. Then you go in to seven minutes of moderate hard. That's followed by three minutes of recovery. Then you do three minutes hard. Then you have five minutes of jogging recovery. And then you can either go into the cool down, or if you want to, you could repeat that whole section again. Think of moderate as a four to five out of 10 in terms of perceived effort or your half marathon pace. Think of moderate hard as a six to seven out of 10 or your 10K pace. And then think of hard as like an eight to nine out of 10 or your 5K pace. And the important thing to remember is that you don't stop running between the speeds. Fartlek is a Swedish term meaning speed play, and that's a great way of summing up what this workout involves. It challenges your body by constant changes in speed whilst continuously running, unlike interval running where you might only go two speeds and have rests in between hard efforts. Okay, so coming to the end of the warm-up and drills now, and it's time for my first bit of speed play. So I'm gonna build for three minutes, going moderate, moderate, hard, hard, each one minute each. Let's go. Into the moderate pace, feeling good. This first part of the workout is perfect for getting used to what these three paces feels like, but you can adjust during it as well. Moderate's feeling all right so far. Okay, into moderate hard. Let's go. into hard pace, go, go, go. We only have to hold this for a maximum of three minutes during the workout, so it really should be close to red line. So I have to say, fart legs is something I've done a lot of without realizing, and they make such a difference to your running. Keeping up jogging between efforts still makes you feel like you're having a break, but then the next time you go out for, say, an easy 30 minute run, you will notice the difference, as you'll find yourself not fatiguing so soon, and maybe even being able to speed up towards the end of a run. Okay, first build done, ticked off. Now I'm into two minutes of recovery before I go into seven minutes of moderate hard. That was tough. I think the more you do fart legs, the more you get comfortable with where your different boundaries are within the speeds. I definitely went off too fast in the moderate and then didn't really have anywhere to go by the time I got to hard. Um, so I clocked what pace I did do in that hard minute. Not sure I'll be able to sustain that for three, but let's see later on in the workout. But I'm loving it. So I've got two minutes recovery now, and then it's into seven minutes of moderate hard. Let's go. Fartlets can also be adapted to suit lots of different ranges of fitness. So speed play is for everyone. This workout, for example, is great because it uses perceived effort to describe the speeds. We gave you some specific pace examples earlier to help get your mind around it, but it really is as moderate or as hard as you want to make it. Fartlets are great workouts to come back to in training because it's a way of monitoring fitness and progression as you hopefully watch your average speed of the workout get faster. 
This workout with a warm up and cool down will end up being around 30 to 40 minutes, but you can adapt this to suit your training level. You might want to use landmarks rather than timings for the speed play and do different speeds between lamp posts or do a different speed per lap of a local park. Find a way that speed play works for you. The key is just to vary the speed and keep continuously running. Woo, okay. I am very happy to see the back of that seven minutes. The seven minutes is a stupidly long amount of time. So now I've got three minutes jogging recovery. Then I go into three minutes hard. Ugh, but at least it's shorter than seven minutes. Um, and then everything's just shorter from here. All happy into the cool down. Um, please give this a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. And I'm curious to know, before watching this, did you know what fartlek running was? I reckon it's gonna be about 50-50. Let me know in the comments whether my prediction is right. Did you know what it is or did you not? All right, we've got about 90 seconds left before three minutes hard. Ooh. Okay, three minutes hard now. Let's go. Fartlek running is a great way to build up fitness as compared to intervals, your average heart rate should be higher. You might not be hitting the same all out speeds as in your interval sessions, but the jogging recovery means your heart rate doesn't drop too much, keeping your average heart rate higher overall. Fartleks can be awesome for race day prep because it can train you not just physically, but also mentally. Have you ever had a situation in a race where your mind was telling you you couldn't go faster and it became difficult to cling on to race pace, let alone to speed up? Well, this is where your fartlek runs will kick in as you'll get used to speed variations and giving a final kick in a race will hopefully become easier. <sighs> that is three minutes hard, done and ticks off. I am so happy that's over, although that was a lot of fun. This workout literally just feels like playing. No, you don't really get into a kind of rhythm with any of it, so it doesn't really feel like monotonous or you don't dread a certain section because they're all happening so quickly. This is definitely one to give a go, so make sure if you want to try out this workout, head to the link in the description where you can see the training plan that is part of on Training Peaks. Also, let me know in the comments what other workouts you want to see. Are you going to give this one a go? Are there any others that you'd like us to take? on let me know in the comments we'll see you next time for more workouts on the running channel